Hello there, it's Janique with you today for another math Pilates practice. I'm gonna start today's class with a bolster because my intention is to open the chest, open the upper part of the spine, to have more ribs mobility, to improve the breath, and to also improve upper body strength. If you find that you've been struggling with upper body strength, you gotta start breathing because you can't build an upper body strength without breath. Why? Because as soon as you inhale, all those muscles here in your neck, in your spine, they start to open, therefore they are available to contract. So start with that. But also make sure you bring your upper body in your awareness when you work out, right? Like not over rounding your shoulders, breathe bigger, contract your muscle around your bone. All these little details can help you when you're building upper body strength. We want upper body strength to support the neck, to support posture, and to do Pilates well, so that it can support your lower back and legs as well. Once you've watched this video, if you have any question, please leave them in the comment box below. Feel free to share this video around and also like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If your spine is tight, starting over here might be a little bit too arch for you to get started. So I would say have your bolster more on your upper back side. But if you love to arch your back like I do, because my spine can get stiff, but I do like the extension part of it, then bring your bolster close to your bum. You can, we're gonna use a 0 0.5 because the goal is not to go heavy, the goal is to help your chest open and so that you can breathe better. Um, I'm going to also use uh, a wooden pole. If you have a TheraBand, you can use the TheraBand. Today I'm gonna use that to open the front of my chest and to uh, engage my rhomboid muscles more, okay? So you also want to have a yoga block handy to support your neck. You don't want to overstretch your cervical spine. So this could be there to help your head. All right. One of the many reasons I love Pilates is that I can sometimes start on my back and it feels so good and my back appreciates it. So now, right now, my bolster is under my lower back and my knees are bent, which allows my chest to open. So you can stretch your arms like that. You're going to inhale. Keep your feet bent for now, knees bent for now. Exhale. And you should feel that huge stretch in your tummy. Exhale. And if you want to, you can bring your feet closer to your butt muscle. The range of motion is up to you. It needs to feel good. You don't want to overstretch your joints and you want to be able to access your core muscle as well. Last round, inhale. So the weight in the small weight in my hand is allowing my arm bone to drop down in gravity so my chest muscle opens a little further. Two more rounds. Last breath. And then exhale, we're gonna bring the arms up towards the ceiling with the palm to facing each other, we're gonna circle. Inhale, circle the arms down, exhale. So when you arch now, you get to arch in the bolster and allow your spine to move, your chest to move and allow your abs to stretch out. Exhale, one last round. And exhale, change direction, reverse. The keep you, the, the arms in your periphery vision. If you go down, you'll end up being in your shoulder joint. You want to feel the arms connected to your spine, not hanging in your shoulder joints. Inhale, exhale, two more rounds. Last round. And then exhale. Now I'm gonna switch to my wooden pole so that I can do my first assisted, assisted roll up. So if you feel tight in your lower back, this is a great way to do your roll up. And then when you do the second round, you'll be a little bit more open. 
So again, you try to bring your arms back just for a stretch, but when you pick up your arm, you want to pick up your arms kind of ear height, so you're not in your shoulder joint again, but you're, you're carrying your arms into your lat muscles all the way to your upper abs and abdominal core muscles. So inhale, put your chin to your throat, curl your spine, legs straight, <sighs> exhale. So I'm gonna allow my head to stretch down because the goal is to stretch my neck, thoracic spine. <sighs> and then inhale, you pivot your pelvis back, and then you stretch your arms around the, uh, behind you and your thoracic spine will extend on the bolster. Breathe in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Roll your pelvis. Exhale, arms back. Inhale. Chin towards your throat. Lift the thoracic spine up and exhale. Head down to your eyes at your pubic bone, exactly as your regular roll up. But this time you are giving your spine a different attention. <sighs> Inhale, you go back. Exhale. <sighs> Last round. Maybe make it two more. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale back, stretch your neck. Exhale back. Now for the, for the people who likes more extension in the head, remove the block. Again, that's not for everyone. Make sure you feel you can handle looking back without feeling dizzy. Bring your chest in. I have more abdominal feeling when my head goes at the back. <sighs> Last round. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> and then come up to sitting. Let's take advantage of this openness of your thoracic spine, you're going to take your arms up towards the ceiling, we'll do mermaid, so point your feet, engage your hamstring, go a little longer, and then exhale, bend your spine to the right, come back center, bend the spine to the left, grow tall, Deep breath in. Left side. Last round. And exhale. Then you're gonna take your arms behind you. You can use a small weight if you want. Tuck your toes under. We're gonna do chest expansion. The bar, is out, the bar is behind you, and you're grabbing the, the bar with an under grip. You stay on your toes. By the way, if you want to do this standing, you can, but I'm getting some other muscle working as well, so I love it. So inhale. Wrap your shoulder blades back and lift the bar behind you. Look right, look left, center. <sighs> Exhale. Inhale. Look left, look right, center, deep breath in. Expand the chest in all direction, look right, look left, center. Look left, look right, center. Last round. Finish with the left side, left. Right, center, exhale. Then you're going to sit down, remove your bolster, and we're gonna start with footwork. All right, in the seated position. So now that you feel your chest expanded, your ribs open, hopefully your thoracic spine and cervical spine a bit more mobile, 
your breathing should feel a little easier, should feel more filling, and then your abs should be able to contract more. So with the footwork, hands at the back of the head, we're going to use the hand to raise the weight of the head off the thoracic spine and narrow the elbows in. So you also want to use this cue of your shoulder blades separating from each other so the sternum softens back so that you can use the thoracic, the, the serratus muscles, which we need all to engage for push-ups. So all this mobility that we did, this opening we did of the thoracic spine and chest expansion will make all these muscles available, yes? So hands at the back of your head, you're gonna raise the weight of the head off the shoulders and spine. And you're gonna curl your spine down with your knees towards your chest. Expand your rib cage and think about how your chest is opening. Two more rounds. Last one. Bird on a perch. And then you're going to flex your toes. Last one. You're going to rest your head down. The reason I can rest right now, because this exercise, uh, this group of exercises we did right now is more of a part level three. But I start adding it now so we can build that endurance and strength. So when we get to the level three, the upper spine is kind of used to this exercise. Okay, so circle your arms down. We're going to point and flex. You are going to focus on expanding the bottom of the rib cage. So it goes expand on the side that will free up the lower spot of thoracic spine and lumbar. So the air will free up and will engage the upper abs. So you're gonna inhale, you're gonna exhale, and you're gonna point and then pump your arm. Feel the chest floating up. And release, arms back, stretch your calves. So I'm gonna stick to my wooden pole today. Flex your feet. So you don't want, yes, it's great because you're giving yourself mobility here when you take your arms back, but it shouldn't hang off your connection. What we talked about, the lats, the upper belly, the serratus muscles. So when you take your arms back, pick it up like a couple of inches from the mat. Inhale, curl your ribs. Up and over, inhale, roll your pelvis, breathe in. Feel the heat building up from your breath. And again. Three more rounds. You want to build heat so your joints open. Last round. And exhale, release, bring the bar down. Bring your right knee up towards your chest and then extend your leg up in a soft point. And then you keep your arms by your side. You're gonna breathe in and twist your spine. 
Again, create that feeling of heat in your body through your breath. <sighs> Squeeze the air out using your abdominal muscles. <sighs> Reverse. <sighs> and feel the expansion of your ribs. <sighs> Two. <sighs> Last round. <sighs> and then knee to the chest. Did my hips fall tight, so let's just get a little bit of stretch here. And then change direction. Feel the ribs stretching apart as you inhale. Filling up your chest muscle with air, your lungs. And then soft point up there and inhale. Breathe in. Two more. Last round. Change direction. Inhale. Last breath. And then give your knee a hug. Do a little stretch here so this hip is not angry. And then grab your knees towards your chest. Expand your rib cage to its full capacity. And when you exhale, swing yourself up to sitting. Hands by the hips. Let the hips come close to your heels. Grab your ankles with your hands. Balance on your sacrum and sit bones. Expand your ribs in all direction and let your neck be soft. Curl back. Feel the ribs. The more you breathe, the more your spine can open. Two more rounds. Last breath. Feet down, hips back. Lay down on your back. So, ribs open will keep your upper body up and you can actually engage then all your core muscles in. And then what you're going to do is again create that heat so that your, your muscles are working, you're hugging them towards your bones and you're strengthening your bones as well, but you're also flushing out all the toxicity out of your spine. So right hand, right knee, right left hand ankle. So your focus is feel the blades come apart, feel your sternum sink in, squeeze your abs in. And we go double time. Both legs. Last round. And then we're gonna grab the right ankle with both hands, plug the leg inside, expand the rib cage, and then pulse. Switch, switch. So now your upper body, like a ball of air, suspending in space to help you. I can't believe I can talk. And then both legs up. Okay, now I need to rest because I have to talk. Okay, so your legs are plugged in in your hip. If you miss out the hips uh, workout we did last month, go back into that and continue to build that stability. So now you're gonna use it together with your upper body curl. So again, you want to feel the shoulder blades coming apart so that your upper abs comes in into your abs, and then you can double leg, lower lift without feeling your back or your neck. Last round. 
and into spine stretch. Neck is up. Take your ribs up with you. Arms are up, floating up. Take your head up with you. Wiggle yourself on your sit bone and send your breath down your pubic bone and sit bones. And then exhale, hollow your abs in. Big breath, hot. Exhale, steamy as they go out. Exhale. Push deep into your tummy. Open your back. Last round. Come back up. You're going to grab your ankles, but first I'm going to find out where my spine is here. So today, I'm going to use my bolster to do corkscrew because I have a different idea of what I'm trying to get for my corkscrew. I'm trying to get my chest to still be strong when I do that, yes? Okay, so first, open leg rocker. You gotta curl back and then pick your pelvis. <sighs> Think about your ribs stretching away from each other, your shoulder blades away from each other. Last two. Last round. Woo. And then feet down. Grab the bolster. Put your bolster under your lower back this time. All right. Hands back. There you go. Legs up. So you're gonna inhale, circle the leg while the spine, upper body holds you up. So the hands are anchoring the arms into the spine. The chest is staying big with air and mobile from the ribs expanding. Change direction, open. Two, last one. And then come up. Ooh. Ooh. Feeling hot now. Okay, so. Some of my students that still feel very strong in their quads, they hang their legs outside and they relax their legs a little bit. So if chest is your focus, do that for yourself. Give yourself that room so your spine can move and your rib cage can move. Arms by your side. Inhale, feel the ribs stretching and twisting, exhale. Last round. And then come up, arms down. Lay on your tummy for swan and swan dive. When you place your hands to your rib cage, think about how you are going to do push-ups. What kind of strength are you building in your chest? Can you apply your breathing in your rib cage and your serrator so it wraps and works with your abs? Think about that. Hands under your shoulders, legs are down, pushing into the floor, pubic dome down. Inhale, you push into your hands, you expand your chest until you feel a stretch in your pubic bone. Maybe 
Maybe that's not your range, but if it works, use it. Do so you want anything, any compression in your back because your chest is big and exhale. Last round. Eyes up, eight swan dive. The neck up and down a bit and then double double switch breathe all the way down to your lower belly expand your ribs and free up your neck two more last one two one two arms forward Right ear on the mat, squeeze the legs. Chest is your priority. Open it, expand it. Exhale, two, three. Last set. And push out. I'm gonna grab my bolster again today. And then place it under the back for shoulder bridge, tilted shoulder bridge with kick under. So what is the reason I love this? Because I'm tight just like everybody else, but my practice keep my life, keep myself strong, but again. Head in line with the spine, pick up, use that same cue you used last month for the waistline, left hand in front, pick up the leg, turn it out a little bit, and one, two, and, and inhale. We want to create heat, and breathe in. Two more rounds. Last one, exhale, and bring the foot in front, circle. Change direction. And then both legs down. You're gonna go up, grab your leg, give yourself a little rotation if you need, exhale. Reverse, flex, 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 and down on your bicep, biceps, exhale up, then bottom leg. And go down, now the top leg will go point, back, and point, back, and point, back, and point, back, 
and we go top leg up. And rest, turn on the belly, grasshopper. Forehead is resting on the mat, pubic bone is resting on the mat. Chest is expanding. And clap. And clap. Change direction. Top leg. Use your cue. Remember all your alignment. Check the boxes, making sure you're in the right space. And build the heat. One more time. And last. Exhale. Then the bottom leg goes and one. You keep focusing on building a big chest expansion and change. And then bottom leg turns out. Gonna grab your leg, give yourself a little stretch. Open the leg there and down. Reverse. Last round. And exhale, lay down on your bicep, bottom leg. And then top leg, you go back on your head and point and flex. If you don't know these exercises, go back to last month, pelvis theme and you're going to find them in there. All right. So then we are going to go um, this one up. And five. Okay. Feel the heat. Do you? Okay. Using your small weights for teaser. You're going to shrink your abs to shrink your spine to use your abdominal strength here. And you're going to bring your arms into your thoracic spine. You're going to gaze down and then you're going to pick the leg up. And then the upper body. And then everything down. We're just going to do three up. You can test now the range of motions of your shoulders, shoulder girdle, upper body, thoracic spine, all of that, by lifting your arms up and see how you feel. Because that was the goal at the beginning of the class, using the bolster to get more range of motions. Inhale, you curl. Now, the only thing that are coming up are your arms, your abs still curl. Whoop. And then, <sighs> down. Deep breath. Hollow your abs in. Your abs, they hollow, the rest comes up. <sighs> I found my limit. As soon as my arms get a little bit up, I lose my center. That's the way. <sighs> Ooh, you got to keep listening and paying attention to yourself. Are you still here? If your range looks big and you're proud of that, but you lost your center, then you're defeating the point. So just keep that in your mind. Your range needs to match your core strength. On your elbows for can can. Toes are together. You are on your ten toes. Your knees are pressed with each other. You're going to inhale, sway. Now your chest expansion is supporting you to stay above your back. Your blades are wrapping towards each other. 
last round. Ready for swimming. Again, the range of motions of your arm without keep taking you in an arch is also important. So you move your arms in a way that you stay in your center. Turn on your tummy. Arms forward. Inhale. Exhale and go. And push out. Seal. Now, if you like balls, like <laughs> the ball exercises, where you feel expanded here, you're gonna love all the rolling like a ball. When you're working in this kind of connection of opening your neck, your spine, your thoracic spine, your rib cage, and you can breathe better, it's going to support your lower, lower body a lot. Feet are eye level and, and clap your legs. I'm gonna turn my legs out a bit to help my hips do this. One and two and three. Two more rounds. Last one. And cross the ankles. Just wanted to stand up. But now again, I'm going back on the knees. I want you guys to understand, I want you to understand if you're not doing push-up yet, you should, because it's building chest strength to support your spine, to support your back muscle. But at the same time, you, you can use it to build better way of, uh, to breathe your, to help you with your breath capacity. The more muscles you have here, the better your breathing will be. Okay, bring your hands under your shoulders. If you are gonna do your straight knees, do that. So whoever feels like, I don't like push-ups, do it with me, with your knees down. Big chest expansion. Exhale. I'm slowing it way down. Breathe in. Two more rounds. Last one. And so here you have it. This was your video to help you build push up, build upper body strength by opening your thoracic spine by giving you ribs mobility. So the more you can feel mobile and strong here. The breathing will be better. You'll have more muscle available to contract when you work your upper body. You'll have definitely a better posture because posture is all about being able to have all these muscles strong while you breathe. Thank you so much for being here today. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Stay consistent and keep working and keep practicing this is how you get stronger. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.